this. Uh, then uh, we discussed this example also with you, equity method example. And we discussed this example in the investors books and the, in the consolidation financial statement. I think you can remember this example. We always take the share of uh, investor to the books of investor and also when preparing the consolidate financial statements. Uh, going back again to this uh, uh, applying the goodwill also, we discussed this one also applying the goodwill. This example, I think I remember how to calculate the goodwill. Goodwill is basically the difference between, you know, purchase consideration and the net assets acquired. So for example, here the net assets you can remember here 150, 20 that is given as at this particular date. But in addition to that, there are two, two, two stories given. One is this 10,000, another one is this 5,000. So, thereby, what you can do is the revaluation, we are brought in the revaluation, but net of tax. So, this is the net assets at fair value. Net assets at fair value. So you take 25% of that and this is the net assets uh, at fair value, your portion, and this is the, the purchase consideration, that is the investment. So the difference between these two is called uh, good bit. In addition to that, we uh, discussed the negative side of uh, side also. I think you can remember the neg negative side, we call it excess purchase uh, bargaining option. Uh, here it is, if it is uh, 180, you see here, you get 25%, but cost of investment has reduced in this example uh, as 45,000. So thereby you will see the purchase consideration is lower than the net assets of, uh, net assets where they invested in terms of fair value. So they are by 125. We directly charge to the, you know, PNL of the uh, investor. That is here, uh, this twenty-five. I think you can remember that part. Then, what we'll do is today, we will discuss applying the equity method across multiple years. We are discussing multiple years. Now, straightforward, we will go to the example so you can understand the meaning of multiple years then. 1 plus July 2013, Pico Limited acquired 40% of shares of Ogun Limited, 422,400, which is the purchase consideration. Now, this is the purchase consideration and this is the date of acquisition. DOA date of acquisition and you are acquiring 40% at the at that acquisition date you will see char capital is 200 and retain earning is 80,000 altogether net assets as per the book is 280 then again further information 1st July 2013 that is the acquisition date date of acquisition there are identifiable assets and liabilities uh, which are really not recorded at fair value. So thereby we need to brought in the fair value into the books instead of this carrying value. Instead of this, we have to bring this and instead of this 60,000, we have to bring this 70,000. So thereby what you will see, we are trying to increase the assets. Here we are trying to increase the assets by 20,000 here we are trying to increase by assets 10,000. So that is the store. Now what happened is, since these are book values, uh, the equity as, as at 
acquisition date in terms of book value. So what we have to do is we need to increase this net assets by this the difference that is 20,000 and 10,000, 30,000. But if there is any tax, we have to take one minus 30% that is net of tax. This is tax rate is uh, 30%. And I think you can remember, what, uh, you can understand what I'm telling. I'm just explaining you the scenario. And also you can see 30th June 2014, that is the year end of the first year, because our acquisition date is 13 July 1st, beginning of the year. Now June 2014 is the end of the year. The inventory on hand, 1st July 2, had been sold by Ogun Limited. So the inventory has been sold. Uh, the machinery was expected to provide future benefits evenly over the next two years, then scrap, right? So the machinery, the, the, this fair value, we need to depreciate over next two years, over next two years. But remember, since when they prepare accounts, the depreciation is based on this. What we have to do is only to provide the additional depreciation based on the difference of rupees or the dollars 20,000. Then of course, uh, 2016 Ogun Limited uh, furniture upwards. Again, there is a, a upward of furniture that is, uh, you know, increasing the value that is bringing the fair value and revaluation surplus of 4,200. So thereby, when you increase the furniture by uh, this much, the, the, the revaluation surplus will be increased by 4,200. Now, financial state normally three year period. And now, this is the idea. That's why here it says multiple years. Multiple years means uh, now you know we acquire this business not on 30th June 2014. Really. We acquire this business really uh, first we acquire this business first July can you remember first July 2013 first July 2013 we acquire so thereby this is the first year financial statement this is the second year financial that means profit and loss this is the third year financial statement. So thereby, uh, if, we, if we are here, we have acquired this business about three years ago. That's the idea. We have acquired the business about three years ago, not now. So that is the meaning of uh, multiple years. This is the meaning of multiple years. Is it clear? And uh, Prepare, prepare the entries in the consolidate worksheet of Thick Law Limited. Apply the equity method to its investment of Ogun Limited for each three years ending 30th June 2014, 15, 16. Now the question is clear. We have to put the double entry in the books of investor, not for one year, but for these three years. That is the idea. Now, I think you can remember, again, there are two, three crucial informations. The acquisition percentage is given, consideration is given, and net assets at, as an acquisition is given, but we have to increase the, this net assets for the fair value adjustment as at this date. Now you continue the business. When you continue the business, so it says that uh, inventory, which was in for seventy thousand, being sold on this date. That is another uh, important information. And other information you do is the, the the what they call the machineries. Next two years only depreciation. Next two years. That means fifty percent, fifty percent, and tax rate is thirty percent. And also dividend declared 
uh, do not pay within three months and liability is being raised at the rate of declaration. And here the further information, uh, furniture is you are, you, are, you are upgrading or upwards revaluations and thereby result revaluation surplus is 4,200. So with this, uh, uh, if you look at this uh, 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 profit and loss, you get the profit here, profit here, profit here. And you have to remember this is the results of for the period, results for the period profit. And retail earnings, that is the opening retail earnings. Opening retaining, retaining earning, which was here. This 80,000 is here. And this 98,000 closing retain here, you can remember here, closing retain here. Okay. So this is the profit uh, uh, total, total uh, uh, retain one year later, retain profit two year later. Retain profit three year later. You have to understand this. First year, one year later, retain profit, the cumulative. Second year later, cumulative retain earnings, third year. Then, you know, dividend is not expense if you deduct it from the equity statement. So, they are by dividend paid and dividend declared altogether here. They have given. So, that is being deducted. And also, Transfer to general reserve, you know, transferring general reserve is not a not affecting to the uh, 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 equity method because it's, it's just mere uh, transferring a particular amount from one reserve to other reserve. So thereby they are, they are won't be changing the equity. Just 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 uh, just uh, you are changing the figures of to respective reserves. You are not increasing the equity, you are not decreasing the equity, just, just transfer. So thereby there is no impact when you account for equity if uh, there is any transfer between the uh, reserves. So coming back to the question, prepare the increase consolidation. So what I am asking is, can you calculate the goodwill? Of this question goodwill so goodwill is very simple uh, investment you can take 122,400 answer is with me so we will see the answer because it's easy for me to discuss the answer on the you know on these sheets rather than writing now you can remember the cost of investment is here right and you can remember these 200,080, that is the book value of equity given in the question at the acquisition date. And you can remember this 20,000 and 10,000. This is the machinery of word and this is the inventory of word. That means the, the fair value increase. So 1 minus 30 is the tax percentage. So thereby total equity of this question is uh, uh, 0, 1, 301, and you take 40 percent. When you take 40 percent, 120,400 is the is the you know the the value of the net assets acquired by the investor. How do you say this is the value of the net assets as at acquisition date? At the acquisition date, net assets at fair value, and you take 40 percent of this. So this 120,400 is the fair value of the net assets acquired and for that acquisition you paid 102,400 122,400 so thereby you see you are paying more than what is being acquired at fair value which is 2000 so you consider this 2000 as goodwill that is the uh, first calculation but we are not uh, really putting the goodwill in the balance sheet of the investor. This is just to understand how goodwill uh, they are inside this purchase consideration. In this cost of investment, goodwill is there. So goodwill is uh, 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 the difference between these two figures. And also, you know, now when, when you are brought in these two adjustment into the books, how do you put? You, you bring the uh, assets 
uh, into the book so thereby when you bring those two what happen is you need to provide additional depreciation in the books of the investor when preparing consolidated financial statement we have to remember when preparing consolidated financial statement and also this 10000 when preparing consolidated file also so thereby now you see the 20000 1 minus 30 that is the the, the net of tax and you take 50%, why you take 50%? Because two years depreciation. Two years depreciation means you divide it by two, that means 50%. So you have 7,000, and here the tax, net of tax story for the inventory is 7,000. What I want to communicate to you is that uh, for this 40,000 profit, which is recorded by the investee, that is organ has to be adjusted for these two entries. So you will see here, 40,000 is taken and inventory 7,000 and depreciation 7,000 minus. So thereby what happened is your, your, your uh, profit for the period is 26,000 from that you take 40%. Out of this 26,000, you take 40%. Is it clear? Is it clear? Now you have to remember at this, uh, at this acquisition point, at this acquisition point, this increase 10,000 is the closing inventory. You consider it as closing inventory. <clears throat> so you have prepared the financial statement based on 60 as the opening. You know, always closing inventory will become the opening. So, so thereby what happened is you, 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 you have calculated this profit for 60,000. And what is required now is you have to calculate the profit based on uh, 70,000. But you have to remember, since we use the equity method, we have to only take the investor's portion. 60,000, 70,000 difference is 10,000. From 10,000, you take only the net of tax 40%. So that's why here we take 7,000. Deduct. But that's why we are deducting. Adjustment for the opening stock here. Is it clear? All right. So this 10,000 is the share of profit for the first year. How do you record it? Uh, you debit the investment in associate joint venture. That is 10,400. And you credit the share of profit on loss associate joint venture 10,400 in the investors books and of course dividend revenue you 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 put as you know uh, income dividend revenue as income and investment in associate 4800 you know as uh, you are reducing it from the uh, investors books basically what i want to communicate to here is so you see the dividends, 5,000 paid and 7,000 declared. So thereby it's altogether 12,000. From 12,000, when you calculate the 40,000, of course you get the 4,800. When you prepare the consolidated financial statement in the investors books, you take dividend revenue. You debit the dividend revenue and you credit the is it clear? Debit dividend revenue account and credit the investment account. Okay, so thereby uh, net assets, uh, net increase is basically uh, 10,400 minus 4,800. That is the 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 story.
Is it clear? Okay. So how do you show it in the uh, books of the, uh, uh, the the investors consolidate financial statement? It will be, you know, like this. Uh, you take uh, when you prepare the consolidate financial uh, statement of uh, say investor. Investor, you know, investor is, uh, I think, uh, PPLC, PPLC. Uh, so if you prepare the financial position, financial position, I hope that you can see the Excel sheet also. Financial position. Okay. Uh, yet remember, we prepare this is for the period uh, as at 30, uh, 30th June 2000. Uh, when? 30th uh, 6th uh, uh, 2014, I think. Yes. That is the period. So I take uh, this part uh, separately because okay, right. Then the the balance sheet information. This is balance sheet information. Uh, so you may have different assets of the investor in, in that you get the investment in associate investment in associate uh, investment in associate can you remember the word and joint venture here what you have to do is uh, you have to put two things one is uh, what do you call the the initial investment item you can remember and now we are increasing it by 10,400 10,400 and also minus 4,800 because that is the dividend portion and can you remember the initial investment of the business? Initial investment, can you remember? That was 122,400. 122,400. So those are the figures we put journal entries and 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 and, and that is the so the total value would be how much total value would be the hundred seventeen point six hundred? Is it cost of investment hundred twenty two thousand four hundred, then ten thousand four hundred and four thousand eight hundred? Okay, that is the investment in associate as at. Uh, what do you call but when you prepare the financial statement financial statement uh, sorry the profit and loss share of profit in associates share of profit associate would be would be 10,000 10,400 That is the the share of profit, and also you see uh, uh, we are debiting dividend revenue item. So dividend revenue. This is a credit item and dividend revenue. So you can put four thousand eight hundred minus figure. That 
that is the this these are profit and loss figures these are uh, i would say uh, balance sheet items so shall we go to the the next one uh, <clears throat> Then one, next one is consultation worksheet, 30th June 2015. So what I will do is uh, uh, for you to understand, first of all, I will focus on uh, the, the profit of the, the business. Can you remember here the profit is 60,000? Profit is 60,000. Is it clear? So I will skip this calculation. This is the, the, the uh, I, I will come back to this one later on. Uh, I will focus on this one. Can you remember the 60,000? Second year profit. And can you remember this 7,000? That is the second year depreciation. So you adjust. Second year depreciation. So the adjusted profit 53,000 and uh, profit is so much. The portion of profit is 40%. And how do you put the double entry? Investment in associate joint venture debit, share of the investor is credit. And you see the dividend in the second year also. So you take 40% out of this 10,000, 15,000. So 40% is really uh, uh, 10,000. You debit the dividend revenue and credit the, uh, what do you call 10,000. Is it clear? So if that is the case, how do you put the third, uh, uh, next year, uh, this thing? The, so I will take the uh, Excel sheet again. I hope you can see it. Uh, here, what happened here, you can remember the next year is 30th June 2015. We are preparing 15 financial statement now. Okay? So, you can rem rem uh, uh, remember the figures. Uh, share of property is 21,200. Share of property is share of property is so much. Can you remember how you took it? Yes. Then the dividend is 10,000. Dividend is 10,000. So what happened? So you start with 122,400, 400, and you have to put the same entry plus these two, 10,400 minus 4,800, again 21,200, and minus 10,000 store. So altogether, uh, your balance would be, investment account would be 139,200. Now, how do you, how do you reconcile? Now, now I just wanted to tell you, now you start from the costs. Under equity method, you take the share of profit in the first year and you deduct the dividend portion. You get the equity method cost, value of the equity method. In the second year, you know about one year, two years back, you invested this much and the first year share of profit is so much, first year dividend is so much, second year share of profit is so much, Second year dividend is so much, so thereby cumulative 
value and the equity method is 139,200. Is it clear? Now what I want to do is, I do want to discuss with you the, the other calculation which was in the chapter. So I'm just putting you the attention onto this page. So we are discussing 30th June 2015 and, and what I did was I discussed this calculation with you, these two cal calculation, but now I just put your attention to someone, something else. Now look at this one, movement in retained earnings since acquisition date. Can you remember at the acquisition date, it was 8,000. At the acquisition date, your retain more earning was 8,000. And one year later, your retain earning was 98,000. Can you remember? Again, if you go back to the question, if you have the question, you can see your initial equity retain earning was this much. Your, year, your end, first year end equity is so much. So thereby, what is the difference? Difference is 18,000. And you know that there is a movement in general reserve. You have to add it back. So you have to add the general reserve transfer. As I told you, it, there is no movement. So you just add it. Because in the retained earning, this has already deducted. But you have to add it. Uh, just to get it back. Okay, return earning you have to add. And you can remember we made two adjustments in the first year. We made these two adjustments. So you deduct it. Basically, the investor share is 5,600. How do you take investor shares? 40% into, uh, sorry, 14,000 into 40%. 5,600 is the the journal entry, investment in associate joint venture debit, 5,600, and retain earnings increased by 5,600. That is the store. Is it clear? Okay. Plus this. Plus this. So thereby, again, coming back to this one, uh, uh, you will see, uh, I, again, I'm, I'm just uh, sharing the Excel sheet, but little difficult to understand. Uh, you have to understand what I'm telling very clearly. Now, again, I'm asking you to uh, just uh, focus on these two figures. So, you know, these two figures is 5,600, definitely. So, thereby, what we do is, we put a, instead of putting, you know, yearly adjustment, we call this adjustment for retained earnings. So adjustment for retained earnings is 5,600. So thereby, instead of these two figures, what we do is we put 5,600. We put 5,600. Is it clear? If I'm, if I'm, uh, doing it in a different manner, what I will do is I will just show you the same thing. So, retain earning adjustment, RE adjustment. Here, RE adjustment is not there because it's, it's in the first year. That adjustment is not there because it is in the first year. That adjustment is not there because it's in the first year here. And here in the year, the same adjustment, I will take it here. Okay. So you get the adjustment. Shall we come back to the 30th, uh, 6th, 2016? Yes, we start with same figure, 122,400. If multiple years, 
we have to calculate what is this balance. We have to calculate this. We don't know. We have to calculate this. And we have to calculate this. Is it? So you have to remember, this is the retail earning calculation. This is the share of profit. This is the dividend. Can you, shall you go back to our uh, question and see how third year calculation is taken this? Here, yeah. consolidate worksheet, 30th June 2016. Just look at, now we are taking the retaining earning for two years, not for one year. You can remember 80,000. You can remember 80,000, that is the acquisition date, retain earning. And 123,000 is this. That means that is the second year retained earning. Up to the second year. If, if, without this 70,000. If I am telling you this 123,000 means this, this, and this, and make the adjustments, relevant adjustments. Anyway, so you take the opening retail earnings, as I told you, the difference. So difference is very clear. No need of taking more time. 120,000, 80,000, that is 43,000. This is clear. And you can remember movement in general reserve here, 20,000. Why it is 20,000? Because it is two years. Ne? 10,000 here and 10,000 here. That is 20,000. So you take the 20,000, right? Movements in general reserve. And you can remember, since we are talking about cumulative, we are, we are talking about cumulative, retain earning means cumulative, 20,000. And here, not the 7,000, two times. Why? We have already taken two years story. Two years cumulative retain. So they are by 14,000 and you can remember the first year inventory story and you are deducting 20,000 and your profit adjusted profit is 42,000. You take 40% that is 16,800. And also you have to make the dividend adjustment. Look at the dividend in the question only. Yes, dividend is 15, 20,000, 15 and 20,000. Uh, that place there, yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, that is uh, twenty thousand, and we took. Uh, uh, what do you call 7,000 and 16,000 and, 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 and uh, so the retain earning adjustment is 16,800 16,800 but dividend adjustment is not here I'm sorry you are not making any dividend adjustment here you take 16,000 investment in share and 16,800 and you take next working as you take 70,000, that is the third year profit. You make the uh, 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 machine depreciation, pre acquisition, machine depreciation, I'm sorry, here. Uh, depreciation of machine and here investors uh, 25,000 uh, and other comprehensive uh, 42,000 
investor share of rupee 1000 this amount so when you go back to this adjustment you have to understand why we make these two adjustments you look at uh, by to the inventory on hand first july to the hand had been sold and maturity was expected right future benefits evenly over the next two years then the scrap the next 30 uh, here in January 2016, Organ Limited revalued furniture of Ford by 6,000, affecting the assets revaluation surplus of 4,200. So thereby, you had to bring that amount, that entry to the books. That entry to the books here. Uh, other comprehensive income investing. 6,000, one point, uh, one minus 30%, that is tax story and 4,200. So altogether, uh, from that you take 40% here, and from uh, uh, this 63,000 you take 40%. Okay. So you put the journal entry, uh, investment in joint venture debit and you know share of profit credit investment in as joint venture debit share of comprehensive income credit and again uh, uh, share of other comprehensive income in associate joint venture debit and asset revaluation credit now what i want to communicate to you is that if you look at these four journal ent uh, entries you will see uh, investment in joint venture this and this now if you look at these two entries this entry and the this entry is what I call uh, uh, setting off share of other companies income in credit here in the second journal entry same account debited so thereby finally what happened is this and this you know, contra, and finally, what happened is this entry and this entry. That means investment in joint venture account debit and and assets revaluation surplus account credit. So dividend revenue fourteen thousand. So if I am going again, uh, going back to my uh, normal uh, calculation, you can remember my calculation. Excel sheet. Uh, Excel sheet. And what would be the figure here? So figure, retain earning adjustment there, of course, can remember, 16,800. 16,800. Is it clear? Okay, and here the adjustment is you see uh, uh, twenty five thousand two hundred retail profit for the period twenty five thousand twenty five thousand two hundred twenty five thousand two hundred which is the share of profit here it is uh, dividend that is the portion of dividend fourteen thousand here it is fourteen thousand can you remember forty percent and you have to remember there we have to put a extra entry which is uh, OCR. This is really the uh, retain uh, profit for the year. This is profit. profit. Share of profit. I would say share of profit. Share of profit. This is the dividend adjustment. 
dividend adjustment and this is OCI story. Anything was coming to the OCI, you have to put here. Here, OCI story is, uh, I think, 1,650, uh, 680, 1,680, OCI. Right? In addition to these uh, uh, entries in this year, in your balance sheet, you have to show revaluation surplus. Revaluation surplus of uh, 4,200, no? If you are putting in the journal entry in the, uh, 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 you, have, you have put the journal entry and what I'm telling is the balance sheet items, the extraction of balance sheets I'm just showing you. So thereby here the balance would be, the amount would be, you know, this, here it has to be minus, no? Fourteen thousand minus. So here the balance has to be, yeah, hundred and ten. And the profit would be how much? The profit twenty five thousand two hundred. Dividend of course fourteen thousand minus figure and OCI. Uh, separate OCI item, there should be OCI item. In the OCI, uh, uh, revaluation surplus, revaluation surplus has to be 168. Okay. So that is the journal, uh, that is the adjustment, uh, that is the, uh, uh, what do you call, balance sheet extraction. These are balance sheet extraction. And this is really the, what do you call, uh, profit and loss and the OCI state. But we are not showing all these items in the balance sheet. What we do is basically we show only these three, two items in the balance sheet. No? On the face of the balance sheet, we, we are just showing these items. We don't show these, uh, 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 what is in, what is in red is not presented in the, on the face of the balance sheet. We don't show these entries in the balance sheet, only we show this is. So, investment in associate, so much. Realization surplus, share of profit, dividend, and because here dividend revenue, not the income, OCI, that's all. So I think with that, uh, that question is over. So what I what I'm asking is you have to practice this uh, 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 the multiple year you have to understand why we are putting the movement of earnings and uh, uh, the respective year adjustment right then uh, we will talk about. Uh, Dividend reserve dissimilar accounting policies and different ends of reporting periods. Uh, what I want to uh, where 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 no consolidated financial statements are prepared. For, we are, I'm talking about now dividend paid and payables by joint venture and associate. This part. There are no consolidate financial statements are prepared. The NP investors recorded that remember this is very clearly. There are no consolidate financial statement. That means individual investors financial statement only, not the consolidate. Then of course, journal entry for dividend is this. You have to remember very clearly, cash account debit, Investment in associate joint venture credit. But when 
you prepare consolidated financial statements. When you say consolidate, there is no such entity. When you think about no consolidated financial statement means you are preparing the financial statement for the investor. Investor is there. In this case, investor is, uh, I think I remember the investor is P. Can you remember the name of the company, investor? Here? Uh, who is the investor? Piclaw. Piclaw Limited is the investor. Piclaw Limited is the investor. Right? And uh, Piclaw Limited is the investor. I'm sorry. I think I made a mistake. Yeah, I was. Yes, 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 yes. I did the mistake. Huh. Yeah, no. Dividend. So you talk about here dividend reserve dissimilar accounting policies and different end of reporting period. There are we talk about dividends here, reserves dissimilar accounting policies and different end of reporting period. First of all, we'll talk about the dividend. We are talking about the dividend. When you talk about the dividend in the consolidated financial state, if not prepared consolidated financial statement, dividend journalists would be cash debit investment in associate joint venture trading. But when you prepare consolidated financial statement, the journal entry, not the dividend cash, it has to be dividend revenue. Dividend revenue debit investment in associate joint venture investment asset account will increase by that. Amount. So if you read this here, you can understand all dividends paid or payable by an associate for a joint venture to an investor are recognized as revenue in the profit and loss of the investor. To understand very clearly, all dividends paid and paid joint venture to an investor are recognized as revenue in the profit and loss of the investor. In relation to the dividend, there is no need to classify the equity of the associate joint venture into the acquisition and post acquisition equity. So, like consolidations, financial statements, we don't divide the dividend into you know pre acquisition dividend and post acquisition dividend, we don't do that. Effectively, all dividends are accounted for as if they were paid or payable from the post acquisition equity. So whatever the dividends, yes, we consider it as paid out of post acquisition equity. You know the meaning of post acquisition equity. When the associate and joint venture pays declares a dividend, the investor records dividend revenue. As not earlier in this chapter, because the investment account has been adjusted for the investor's share for all action equity, applying the equity method required an investment account to be adjusted for dividend paid or declared. So that is that. Now, when you have the preference shares, the share of profit calculation after payments of dividend, you have to remember. You have to deduct the dividend for the preference shares. That's the idea. 100, 20. So based on this eight, you calculate the uh, your profit share. Remember, when when there is dividend, preference shares dividend, you have to deduct it from the profit of the associates. Right. Reserve. The equity of the investee may also increase, decrease. We are changes in reserve balances in the associate and joint venture. There are three situations to consider. Three situation where post acquisition reserves are created by amounts taken directly to equity. An example of this is where associate joint venture recognize an increase in the assets revaluation surplus. When there is an asset revaluation surplus, what we have to do is you increase the investment in associate by debiting. 
and you charge other comprehensive income OCI. You credit OCI. That is just to disclose in the other comprehensive income, you put this entry. But you have to remember, really it has to be reflected in the revaluation reserve. So thereby what you can do is just to bring that item value to the revaluation reserve, you just put another entry, share of other comprehensive income, you debit, same amount and credit the revaluation. What I want to communicate to you is that by putting these two entries, you put a contra entry. Real journal entries, investment in associate and joint venture and credit the assets revaluation. So these two entries are just to make items in the OCI. Okay. Where reserves are created by associate by reflect pre-acquisition equity. This is post-acquisition. This is pre-acquisition equity increase. So that you will consider when calculating the cost of investment. Here, reserves on hand at action date may be transferred to other equity accounts after that date as these amounts are recognized in investors cost of investment and thus the carried amount of the investment in associate no further adjustment is necessary on application of the equity method or movements in pre-acquisition equity. So Pre-acquisition equity. When you when you when you buy when you invest in a business, all these pre-acquisition equity increase decrease considered. So thereby, it will reflect in the investor's cost of investment. So thereby, no entry is required with regard. You forget about this second category. We are the associate create reserve by transferring amount from retail earnings. That is, that means from uh, retain earning to general reserve. You just transfer. No and no need to adjust the general reserve in increase on this. So thereby you are making entry entries only for the first category. There are post acquisition reserves are created by amount taken directly to the equity. So under this method only we put double entries. Under these two methods, we no entry. What are the no entry? Pre acquisition equity increase and also transfer within transfer to the reserves. Dissimilar accounting policies, of course, uh, 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 if there are dissimilar accounting policies, you have to convert. If you prepare the consolidated financial statement, convert, convert associate uh, uh, financial statement into the, uh, 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 the investors. Different period, of course, you have to uh, make necessary adjustments for the uh, period to match. Then investing in associates in stages. Now, again, you have to remember very clearly this. Uh, what shall we do? We will, uh, yes, we will do this and uh, finish it off. We'll finish it off from this. Investing in an associate stages. You know the you know the meaning of uh, associates. Uh, you may have five percent uh, 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 intake in interest, so you increase by ten, and again another five, fifteen, another twenty. Likewise, stage by stage, step by step, you get the uh, uh, significant control. So thereby, at this situation, what you will do? What you will do? We'll take one example, then you can understand. I hope that you can understand what is the meaning of stages. In the first stage, you don't have the significant influence. You take, you acquire more shares, then you get the significant influence, then how to account for. Assume C Limited acquired 10% of shares H 1st January 2015 for 13,000. Uh, what do you mean by that? 10%? So thereby it's less than 20%, no significant influence. At 31st December, uh, entities reporting period, the fair value of the investment was 16,200. You have to understand this. The 13, this amount, right? 
this particular amount the january this date has become 16200 under this at this date gain or losses on financial instruments are recognized and profit or loss uh, this is the financial assets uh, true profit and loss so thereby fair value change the differences in fair value you charge to the pnl 13000 16200 the difference is you charge to the pnl okay on 1st july 2016 that is one year later Hariyatama Medata Dawasagata Passe, one year later of this investment. C Limited acquired a further 10%. This 10% plus this 10%. Now we assume that C will get the significant influence from this date onwards. C will get the, uh, the influence, significant influence on this onward. So 20% is. Uh, the equity now investment in equity is 20 percent but this was taken step by step this was taken by step step uh, step by step but what is the step versus step first first 2015 that is the first step what is the second step one 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 again 2016 not the 15 10 percent and another 10% altogether 20%. Okay, <clears throat> when the equity horns limited consisted, now by that time, your investment, what do you call this net assets, share capital, asset revaluation surplus, retained earnings, profit. Profit is really, you know, uh, I'm sorry, this is, uh, you acquired 10% not July, uh, not the one, July. That means uh, one and a half years later, not one year later, one and a half years later, you acquire this 10%. So thereby, uh, at the acquisition date, the equity is given plus 8,000 for the next six months. After six months, you know, first year, you know? Right. Identified assets and liabilities on were recorded at fair value and at a date of expect inventory whose fair value was 15,000 greater than the carrying amount. Acquisition gives significant influence over four. Ah. So at this, uh, uh, in, in addition to this, what we have to do is the 15,000 carrying amount. You have to brought in to the, uh, the equity. Right. So what we do is C Limited would record its investment in Home Limited at 13,000 at this date because that is the fair value. Yeah. At this date, but as at 31st December 2016, C Limited would need 16,200. The difference will be charged to the profit and loss, as I told you earlier. What would be the at 1st July 2016 when? C acquired another 10 percent first July because you acquired the uh, uh, on this data first July so you consider it as an associate yeah. becomes an associate in accounting for its previous held investment on limited will remeasure its investment to the fair value uh, so now what we have to do is now if I am telling you this investment now i think you can remember the dates here the first first 2015 agree that is 13000 one year later that is uh, i would say uh, 30 plus December 2015. One year later, this is, uh, of course, 16,000. How much? 16,200. 
मेदा सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड Now you acquire another ten percent. Then the May one seventh two thousand sixteen. Are you clear what I am telling? Here one six month. Ah, uh, here period is six month. Here period is one year. And you know the investment value at this date. And you know the investment value at this date. What this particular standard says if. If you consider this investment as financial assets, you have to bring the fair value as at this date. Fair value. That is the story. That's what I'm telling you. You bring the fair value. Here, yeah. C Limited will remeasure its investment to fair value, record any change, any change in profit and loss. Change in uh, if there is a, now here you can remember this change you charge the PNL here you take the fair value of this investment and change you charge to the CNA. Okay, I think that's uh, 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 that's clear uh, with regard to this uh, case. Just look at the double entry investment in phones thousand remeasure of investment thousand. Now you will see in in somewhere else it says that uh, here. So you acquire seventeen thousand two hundred another ten percent. That means same shares the previous ten percent also. Fair value is same amount. We have to remember in the question, seventeen thousand two hundred is given for the second acquisition ten percent. The same share you are purchasing. Previously you have purchased ten percent, so thereby we assume that the fair value as at this date of the previous investment is seventeen thousand two hundred. So thereby. Uh, Sixteen thousand two hundred seventeen two two one difference is thousand investment in home debit and the income account profit and loss account credit ten thousand the difference here yeah? any change any change that is the change thousand profit and loss the previous selling is now recorded by the investor at fair value and uh, blah blah blah. So investment in Horn Limited seventeen thousand two hundred cash seventeen thousand two hundred. This entry is for the new investment ten thousand. This entry just to bring the previous investment to the fair value. This entry to record the new investment in the books. That's why we are crediting the cash here. Acquisition further shares in Horn Limited. Here, remeasurements of investment to coming and associate. So you will understand the narration. So you can calculate the goodwill. Simple. How do you calculate the goodwill? You take all these. So you take all these plus the increase in inventory. One minus T that is tax. You take twenty percent. So twenty percent is so much. Investment is seventeen thousand two hundred. Two times because ten percent, ten percent, two ten percent story. So the goodwill is seven thousand. So thereby, how do you record? How do you do the 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 uh, uh, investment in the share of profit? Now I think you can remember the profit for the period is eight thousand, given eight thousand for the six month. Uh, uh, if Horn then recorded a profit of twenty thousand, but second half of the ah, I'm sorry, uh, second half of the uh, 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 period at December, so would recognize twenty percent share of that amount of pro, uh, so thereby a twenty percent of this uh, would be uh, two thousand three hundred and two thousand three hundred. 
then recorded profit of for the second quarter so at december the would recognize 20% share of the adjusted after tax profit so you you just make take it 1 minus 30 here uh, 22000 15000 again you have to remember very clearly uh, this uh, uh, 15000 which is closing stock will become the opening stock of the next period so thereby this 15000 opening stock you have to deduct from the profit and 1 minus t and 20% that is investment in associates and share of uh, share of profit associate 2000 okay is it clear so how do you record this uh, if you if you want to just uh, 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 just record this in the period of uh, 6 month ending uh, 31st 31st uh, 12 2000 i would say i think 16 30 plus, uh, yes 16 this is for the six month huh? six month not for one year six month consolidation investment in associates you know the figure investment in associates investment in associates i think you can remember 17200 uh, double 17200 and 17,200. Hey, 10% neva dekak me? Neither. So the 34,400. Can you remember? Plus the share of profit for the period is uh, share of the property is 2,300. 2,300. So that is your value of the investment in the financial statement that is the value balance sheet you show this one which figure you show really you show this figure on the face of the balance sheet you are showing this one you don't show these workings huh no workings you don't see you are not presenting on the face of this is the final figure and the income statement you say share of profit share of profit which is 2300 that is for the six month that's all whether i be a pay me 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 ke daan me is said as a ci the last one see it okay I hope uh, you understood this uh, very uh, this one is little bit uh, you know complicated but uh, please uh, study the uh, chapter I have already uploaded that uh, chapter to the uh, someone told me that uh, it's not available I think it's there. Chapter is there. Just tell me whether the chapter is available in the LMS. Is it available? LMS. I think chapter is available. I have uploaded the chapter. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much for joining. And tomorrow also we will have a one hour at least. We will meet at three o'clock and we will have one hour. Then we will be able to finish this chapter. We have next week also uh, additional lecture. Additional means uh, the dean has extended the academic calendar by one week. So we will meet uh, next week also. Uh, tomorrow we will have another one hour session.
Okay. If you have any question, you can put. Uh, otherwise, I will end the meeting. Please read the chapter very well. I know that this is a little bit difficult to explain in online. If you have followed the material, yes, easy. If you have don't follow up the material, just come for the lecture. Very difficult to follow, not, not like in physical class. Okay. Thank you very much.